Michael Jordan is undoubtedly one of the greatest basketball players of all time. His name is synonymous with success, excellence, and unparalleled talent on the court. Jordan has achieved countless accolades throughout his career, including six NBA championships, five MVP awards, and 10 All-NBA First Team honors. However, despite his undeniable greatness, there is a new myth that surrounds Jordan's abilities on the court. According to this myth, Jordan was not skilled with his left hand and struggled to drive or finish with it. This narrative has gained traction on social media and has been perpetuated by some fans recently. But here's the truth, this myth couldn't be further from reality. In fact, there is plenty of video evidence that debunks this notion and showcases Jordan's prowess with his left. But if video clips aren't enough to sway you to change your opinion, maybe Jordan's actual recorded shot charts will do the trick. Now, the NBA only started tracking a player's shot attempts only from the 1996 to 97 season, but this is still a good sample size. Let's take a look at Jordan's final two prime years as a member of the Chicago Bulls. In the 1996 to 97 season, where Jordan won his ninth scoring title as well as his fifth championship, you can see Jordan was efficient from all over the court. This includes the left side of the court. Although Jordan tended to go right more often, his shooting percentages show that he did not struggle with going left. From the left side of the court, Jordan made 240 out of 492 field goals, which is a 48.8% success rate. This is a respectable percentage, especially for someone who is considered to have difficulty shooting from that side of the court. If we compare Jordan's shooting percentage on the left side of the court with that on the right, we can see that there wasn't much difference. On the right side, he made 317 out of 635 shots attempted, which translates to a success rate of 49.9%. The next season, Jordan's last as a Chicago Bull saw Jordan shoot 45% on both the left and right side of the court. This again proves Jordan was comfortable no matter where he went on the basketball court. This should settle the debate going around about if Michael Jordan could or could not drive to the left. There should be no doubt that Jordan could finish using his left hand as well. Many people who were debating about this topic seem to have forgotten that Jordan's first significant game winner was when he went left. Yes, Jordan's the shot against the Cleveland Cavaliers was him beating his defenders by going left and using his left hand to set up his game-winning shot. He also defeated the Utah Jazz on a buzzer-beating jumper by going left in game one of the 1997 NBA Finals. It's time to put an end to the myth that Michael Jordan couldn't drive left or finish with his left hand. The evidence speaks for itself, and it's time to give credit where credit is due. Jordan's greatness cannot be contained by any myth or false narrative. He will always be remembered as one of the greatest and most skilled players in NBA history with both his right and left hand. Still, if you're one who will continue to believe in this nonsense to help lift your favorite player, then realize this. Michael Jordan won 10 scoring titles, 6 championships, 6 finals MVPs, and 5 MVPs with only one hand. Not bad for a guy who could only use one hand.